G'day you cheeky dogs, my name's Margie and I'm an Aussie currently living in America. But currently filming in Brisbane and welcome back to part three of the podcast interview with Gotta Be Done with Mary and myself. We'll be talking all about season three details, the future of Bluey, as well as a bunch of subscriber questions as well. Part one and two is already out, links in the description box down below as well as the pinned comment. Make sure to go check those out after you've watched this final little edition here. But I had so much fun as always, and I can't wait to show you guys what we were chatting about. So here it is. A question that I would love to know your opinion on. So this is one is from JL Rosie Fan 98. If you could write a Bluey episode yourself, what would it be about? Okay. Uh, probably doesn't surprise you to hear I have tried this. Uh, not very successfully. Uh, I have never written anything like that before, but I did, um, yeah, did kind of an idea got stuck in my head about Bluey and Bingo going to visit an old person's home and um, oh. and uh, visiting someone with dementia and having to play through, uh, you know, kind of humouring that person or, mm. or letting them live what they thought was going on by playing yeah. a game. And yeah, that, that was really, I guess, personal to me, like, you know, family members have had dementia and, mm. um, that is, that is one of the ways you can kind of try to stay connected with people in that situation. So I thought, well, you know, if anyone could do that, it's Bluey and Bingo. Um, yeah. so yeah, that, that's something I'd still love to see kind of explored in the show. Like I adore, you know, what we've seen of the grandparents' generation. Um, yeah, such a highlight was adorable Nana in handstand and her kind of feelings of like, you know, I'm used to being the, the centre of everything and now I'm off to the side. Yeah. Um, and Grandad as well, you know, having to slow down. Um, yeah, those I think I'd really like to see more multi-generation stuff in Bluey and, yeah, I thought that would be a good way to do it. I love that idea. I think that would be great. You just, you actually just gave me an idea. I would love to see Chili's granddad when he was in the army and how he yes. met. Yes. I would love. Oh, that. that'd be good. Yeah. Met. Whether it's like that classic, like, you know, army 1930s, 1940s style. Mm -hmm. thing. Um, I have an ongoing theory that like they met because she was also in the army and the Victoria's Cross is actually Chili's mom. I'm convinced. Oh, yes. yes. That's what has it, I that. love that. Yeah. So I, I know, I think me and my subscribers have talked about, I do a bunch of Bluey theory videos. Some are just monkeys singing songs and then just a bit of a laugh. <laughs> but some are like a little bit more deeper. And like the thought is that, you know, we haven't seen Chili's mum because maybe she's passed away. And, yeah. you know, that's a very normal part of life, of course, is grandparents not being there because they passed away before the kids were born and that sort of situation. So mm -hmm. I would love to see like a story of like her telling the kids, yeah, this is how my parents met. Or even if it was granddad Mort telling the story. Uh, that. Look, just from the tiny, well, apart from fairy tale, which is a massive flashback, you know, the, the flashback and flash forward moments just give so much. Uh, yeah, I would love to see more of them. I think that's what got my husband was the, the flash forward and daddy drop off. And he was like teary eyed and turned to me. He's like, <laughs> Two seconds and I'm in tears. What did they do? I'm like, oh, what do you mean <laughs> children grow up? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm like, it's absolute magic what they can do in like a couple of seconds or less. Like every single yeah. time at the endings, completely cutthroat. It's beautiful. In total though, then I guess for the second half of season 3B that we've seen in Australia, but the rest of the world hasn't seen yet. Mm -hmm. Favorite episode that you've had from that? Oh my gosh. Um, I think I should have prepped this answer because I've been going back to the first half now that they're all dropping and sort of reliving it as everyone's seeing for the first them for the first time in the rest of the world I love them all <laughs> all equally uh yeah I've been I've been spending brandy. my time on the pardon sorry what did you think of brandy oh look I almost I almost felt that was too well not too emotional it was so beautiful like I loved the onesie episode um but yeah, it was such a big topic to take on, and that I, I, I've had um like pregnancy losses before, and felt so connected to the show, and sort of the the, the tiny hints in that episode that it gave about um Chili and Bandit having um lost pups before, but yeah, yeah for 
to make it so front and centre with Brandy's story, I thought it was beautifully handled and um, lovely, but it also, I guess it's just such a hard story to put in a show for kids about kids because, yeah, it almost felt we haven't recapped that one yet and I'm, I still don't really know what I'm going to say about it. So you're getting the rough the rough edit, I'm afraid, Nike. But, That's exclusive content. But, you yeah, it it's, isn't, it, isn't it hard? Yeah, what what did you think? Um, I So I, for season 3B, I live streamed a lot of the episodes as they came out. I can't show them on YouTube, of course, because of yes. copyright, but people, we would just chat as I was watching it and they would see my reactions or they'd be watching it in Australia. I, I broke down. <laughs> I burst into tears. I was just an absolute mess. I was so, I wasn't expecting it. It was not the reason that I thought we hadn't seen Brandy. So it really yes. shocked me and took me completely mm. by surprise. And I just, I just lost it. Like my daughter was in front of me at the time. Like she's just a little baby playing around. And I just, yeah, I wasn't expecting yeah. it to go so deep so quickly and then, like, it ended so happily, of course. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Reconcile with yeah. the future. But at the same time, I was still like, I need, I need, a, I need a couple of days. Like, I don't think I can live stream tomorrow, <laughs> guys. I just, I need a break. This was a lot. Like, I'm like, I hope uh, it's super lighthearted because I, I can't take another deep one like that. Like, that for me, I think is one of the most emotional episodes, I think, out of all three seasons, easily. Yeah. Yeah, look, completely agree. Um, and even have you seen Bluey's Big Play yet? Because this that plot is hinted at in Bluey's Big Play. So thank you to some uh, lovely people who put up small little bits on YouTube and people on Reddit who write the entire script out, basically. Because <laughs> I like them. I had to like research it so I knew what was happening. If there was any details about Brandy beforehand, so I'm actually I'm going to New York to see it in Christmas. Oh. So I'm really super super excited to see it in live action. I guess. Um, I am because, so excited for you. That's going to be yeah. amazing. Because, yeah, I know that they said that, you know, they were hinting at Brandy coming in and that they had reconciled with her in Chile, but no one really knew why. But that the Bluey's Big Play had to come out first before season three. So that's Good like point. Yeah. how we knew the connection was happening. Um, mm. But I do have one quick okay. question. The wedding yes. episode that's been hinted at. Oh. <gasps> Do you think it is? Okay. I look, it could go either way. I hope it is um Rad and um Aunt Frisky, uh, who I I'm very confident are not married yet. Um yeah. and yeah, Joe Brum told us on an episode he was definitely writing a wedding episode, but uh, realistically I think it could be another horsey wedding or you know, a game no, that no, is a wedding. No, I don't know one wants to hear it, but <laughs> But look, we'll see. Or it's it's a sub wedding plot within mm -hmm. a game at the wedding. And yeah, look, you know, if the girls are bridesmaids, I'm happy. If any, like whatever is happening, I love love. It's going to be lovely. So yes, I'm hoping as well that the wedding will definitely be rad and frisky. I agree with you. I don't think they're married yet. I know a lot of people believe that they were because of like the reference in Christmas Swim. But no, 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 uh, no, I, no. They are so wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was, I can't remember if it was in the interview that you guys had or if it was on a separate one, but um, Joe Brum did mention that he wanted it to be a stereotypical Australian wedding. Which yeah, I, I think he even said backyard. Um, yeah. yeah, so I, yeah, I was pretty excited by that. I love a backyard wedding, so yeah. bring it on. Healer's backyard, very nice. If the Poncianas in flower. Well, it could be why the fish pond is going in as well. Oh, like, oh got yeah. To see that heading in. So, and maybe it is a throwback to Horsey Wedding when they had that, the one time we saw, they had that little like extra deck outside. Yeah. That they pulled up onto that we never saw again. No. Oh, I miss that deck. But yeah, and even, you know, the fish pond could provide the opportunity for, um because when Rad meets Frisky and were well, you the one that jumped in the pool, I reckon that could go down to the next generations. I feel like Muffin might be the one that jumps in the fish pond. <laughs> Oh, I would love that. I think that would be a really Bring it on. flashback. I would, yeah. I think that would be, I know I know. he said that he was going to end the season on something really emotional. So I'm assuming maybe the wedding episode is maybe not going to be that, maybe like the second or. Oh, yeah. But 
I don't know. I'm I'm super excited to see that. Like I want to see an Aussie wedding and I want to see the rest of the world to see what like an Aussie wedding would be like as well for us. Sort of, you know, everyone in thongs ideally and like, I don't know, just some sort of Aussie Southern oh, Cross. There, there's everywhere. so many places it could go. And actually I've, you've, forgive me if you've mentioned this on, on your previous recaps, but even in there's in season three, a wedding photo of Bandit and Chili pops up. And I can't actually place the episode it's in, but. Um, it's in um, Puppets. Yes, that's it. But someone did a side by side of that photo with um, the photo from Kylie Minogue's neighbor's wedding to, uh, and now I'm blanking, like I'm, I'm a terrible Australian for this, not just like rolling off my tongue but yeah that it's just the most Australian 80s wedding uh that ever could have happened like it was a television event when yes. uh, Kylie Minogue got married on Neighbours and yeah then when you put the photos side by side that more similarities than not apart from the fact oh, that that's one couple funny. of dogs <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, so God. so someone's clearly thinking about weddings and, and classic Australian weddings at that. Yeah. I know. Even like, what was it? The Princess Diana and Charles wedding commemorative plate. Oh, that was, yes. Actually. Um, mm. That when I saw it, I was like, I'm pretty sure we have that plate at my home. <laughs> like, I remember that plate from like the 80s and the 90s. Just uh, like, yeah. Where did it all go wrong? I don't know. Don't I know. get a plate. That's That's the moral of the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't have a plate made about your wedding um do you also think one of the other the last question I had that I wanted to ask you before was kind of a future one in that sense so it's from a fan called Michael Stewart do you think that we will see Bluey and Bingo continuously age up into teenagers eventually in future episodes yeah look it's such a uh, it's a question that I kind of want both ways. I feel like, like I would love to see that. And like, we've already talked about the flash forwards and how beautiful they are. But I think actually Joe Brum's answered that in previous interviews pretty categorically that nah, it's a, it's a show for preschoolers and preschoolers, they will stay. So yeah, we'll just have to write those episodes in our heads, Margie. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I mean. I thought perhaps the season three with them finally having birthday parties for everyone and mm -hmm. like season seven, I'm like, is this a sign? But I mean, you know, it's taken three seasons, what, almost five years for them to age one year. So yeah, yeah. This is a pretty, <laughs> pretty slim, realistic. Well, way. if they do grow up, that's, that's a lot of years of Bluey ahead of us to get them there. So uh, I'm all for that too. Yeah. 20 years time reboot of the series. <laughs> We've got Bluey and Bingo as parents now instead. Ah, uh, bring it on. Right. I think it would be a fantastic way to like, if they ever did have to cancel it for some unbeknownst reason, a good way to bring it back again. Yeah, totally. But, um, but yes, so I just want to say again, thank you so much for staying up late with me and having a chat about Bluey. It means so much to me as well. You guys were absolute role models and such an inspiration for me to starting my YouTube channel too. So I'm just so uh, glad I finally got to meet you basically in person. <laughs> This is so in person. And yes, uh, love it. Love your channel, Margie, and uh, everything you're doing. We have discovered tidbits that might have snuck into Got to Be Done once or twice on your channel. So thank you uh, for keeping keeping eyes open and the conversation going. And yeah, the more talking about Bluey, the better. <laughs> always, always. And just a reminder to all my subscribers, um, Got to Be Done. It's an amazing podcast. Where can they listen? You can find it on any podcast platform. Just look for Gotta Be Done or uh, the Bluey podcast. We'll get you there. Uh, we're on all the socials as well, though. And, yeah, we drop an episode once a week. But socials is just whenever something Bluey takes our fancy. So uh, it's pretty constant, to be honest. Um, and, yeah, we're on Instagram at Bluey Pod, on Twitter at Bluey Podcast, and on Facebook, uh, Gotta Be Done, the Bluey Podcast. So yeah, awesome. we'd love to see you all there. So that was the finale of the series. If you haven't seen the other first two parts, don't forget to check them out. I'll leave it in the description box down below. I'll put a link in there for you guys. Uh, but until then, I've picked two cheeky dogs out, a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch, and I'll see you all in another video. Mwah! Bye!